Hey guys, it's Wednesday, May 7th, May 8th, um, two weeks on testosterone, had my second shot today, 100 milligrams, um, we are going to start moving to a one week cycle, I think, so I'll get my next shot next Wednesday, um, changes not a lot this far, increased appetite still, um, no real acne or anything, I'm not real sure when that is supposed to, to start, I'm good with it not starting ever, but I think that's unlikely, um, the one thing I think that I've noticed is that the density of my muscles have changed. They feel thicker, um, but they're definitely not, I don't know, they seem like they're not any bigger. Um, sorry, I got distracted, someone's talking outside. So they, they, don't, they don't seem any bigger. Um, I'm going to be quitting my job in a few weeks and, and it'll be summertime. I'm going to have a lot of time, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a goal out there to get back to the gym and get back into that routine. Um, so that's kind of it with, with changes. Uh, I don't think my voice has changed. I don't even think I should expect it to change at two weeks. Although yesterday morning I was like, I felt like, <laughs> I was like, God. <clears throat> I felt like there was a frog in my throat yesterday morning. It's also allergies. I live in Northern California and it's crazy right now. So um, I, I guess that's kind of is, is it, I think it's hard to determine what are changes that are testosterone related and what are actually happening or what are, things that I'm perceiving or that I'm looking for and so maybe aren't really happening but I think they're happening. Um, into the school year there's a lot of stress so you know I was kind of cranky over the weekend and I'm like is that because you know I'm towards the end of the two weeks of the testosterone or is it because I have like four papers to do in project and I'm just cranky. So I don't know. Um, my dog just attacked my cat so I apologize for that. kind of startled me but um, so my chest surgery is in 26 days with Brownstein. Um, I just watched Mateo's video and he's going in next week. So it uh, makes me excited. You know, definitely I've, ha I've been on that countdown since, you know, in the 50s. The days were in the 50s and now I'm at 26, which I'm pretty stoked about. I'm stressed about money, but I'm not going to mention that on YouTube because that seems to be a, uh, I don't know, an off subject or an off, uh, wow, all my words. Off limits. There we go. Off limits because people have all sorts of reactions about that. So um, I should be all right. I'm just a little stressed about it. I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to work things out. Um, I am not gonna stay in San Francisco all that long. I'm gonna go down the day before my surgery, have my pre-surgery consult, day of surgery, which is on a Tuesday, and then I'm gonna come back home on Wednesday. So I'm pretty stoked about that because I think you just I'm more comfortable at home and, and recovery will be a little bit easier here. And also financially, like it's expensive to stay in the city. So then I'll have to, I'll have to go back down that following Monday. And then that same that Friday of that same week, I'll have to go back down. Um, and with gas, as expensive as it is, it still is going to be cheaper than staying at a hotel and food and all that kind of stuff. So um, I have a little list to keep me on track. Um, there's some other things listed here, but I don't feel like talking about them. The only thing that I wanted to mention that's on my mind is... I was talking to one of my teachers today about, she, was, she has watched a couple of my YouTube videos and um, that trying to figure out how to deal with, you know, in a couple of weeks I'm going to be done with school and I'm not going to see anybody for the summer and then I'm going to come back in August and at that point I will have been on uh, testosterone for three or four months or so and so I presume, I hope, that the physical changes um, will be quite apparent at them at that point. And because I'm tall, 6'2", um, and my body structure is, is already, I don't know, I would say more masculine than feminine, I'm hoping that, um, that people will see me and perceive me all the time as male and none of the time as female. Um, but with regards to my classmates, it's like, do I just show up in August and be like, <laughs> interesting summer or do I say something I don't really know how to deal with that um, or or maybe it's not mine to deal with maybe I don't need to control it and whatever happens happens so I don't know kind of on my mind um, I feel like I have sh shut off and stopped being as vulnerable in these videos because more and more people are watching them which I don't like um, I also feel like the more vulnerable I was being um, that I was projecting this this image of myself that I wasn't okay or that I wasn't 
I don't know, and, and I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I just am a highly emotional person. Um, there's a lot that I, that I want to talk about that I find myself not talking about, and then I get pissed that I'm not talking about it. And um, so I have to figure that out. Uh, maybe I do a second channel. It's about some of the other issues that are, they are gender related, that they're not gender related. I don't know, I have to kind of figure that out. And I'm rambling now. So I'm going to end this video. Um, I will update next Wednesday for sure when my third week and third shot. And if something outstanding or exciting happens in between, then I will do a video.